Oh, that's so sick. That is a glacier. Oh my gosh. That's an iceberg, bro. Holy frick, that's a big old bear paw. Look at that. Glacier. No, it's me. I'm talking about the kind of wind. I'm gonna eat a piece of glacier ice. I'm going kayaking on a glacial lake. What's up, King? What? Oh, you silly dog. I'm running off a solid two hours of sleep right now. I gotta close the bar down last night. In the uh, in the lodge, and it's time to go kayaking. I woke up at 3:30, and it is officially four o'clock right now in Alaska. And check out how bright the sky is. 4 a.m., dude. Sorry. 3:47 a.m. And look at how bright the sky is. But either way, I'm going kayaking today. This is. This is the red van, and today me and a coworker are taking it to go kayaking on Harley Quinn Lake, a lake with icebergs and a glacier. We're gonna see if we can't get to the glacier and have a good time. Yeah, I say we walk the kayaks down the beach. We honestly, we might have to make two trips and double hand carry your kayak. That's all right. Well, let's. <laughs> yeah, that one's long. Wow. <laughs> the long trek through the woods. I put on socks just because I was like, it makes more sense to me. Just like that, we're in the water. That is Welcome to Alaska. This is Harley Quinn Lake. We're paddling down that way, hopefully to a glacier. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> What's this? This dive bombing me. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? 
<laughs> oh, interesting. I'm getting dive bombed by seagulls. Either way, I'm heading over to this little island out here and hopping out for a second. Well, how about that? Should have brought longer muck boots. I got the short ones. Should have got the tall ones. No for next time. You want to go check out the, uh, an iceberg? Heck yeah. I, should you want to go to those ones? They look sick. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is cool. Yo. <laughs> wow. That's an iceberg, man. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at that. That is glacier ice. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Yo. That's so sick. That is the prettiest hint of blue you've ever seen. Wow. This is crazy. But you only live once. I'm about to get dripped on. <laughs> That's an iceberg, bro. That's so sick. Damn. That's so cool. Onward. Iceberg, iceberg, iceberg. This one's all dirty. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, I'm gonna go under it. <laughs> no way, bro. Yeah. I don't, I can't hear it. I'm under a glacier right now. Iceberg. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever done. That is so cool. <laughs> Don't die though. Yeah. Dude, that's just like. Oh my gosh. I'd love to know how deep it is here. <laughs> yeah. That's so loud. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Smile! That's so cool, dude. What's the difference between Fjordy and this? This is awesome, bro. Yeah, it Look is. Look at that freaking iceberg. It's like, freaking. No, this is. I'm talking about the kind of landscape. So with the fjord, there's no deep, really. It's just the mountains plunge straight down into the water like this. Kind of like over there. Where? On that hillside where it just dives straight in. Oh, yeah. I mean, that that's pretty steep. The whole thing looks like that. It looks like it. you're in like Grand Canyon or something. <laughs> but a river, it's oh, in. I know what you. Oh, like over, not necessarily Russell Fjord, but over. <laughs> oh, dude, this is insane! Holy cow! It's beautiful. Do you remember that it's just 
fall apart or the disc of it could fall off at any moment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Dude, this is top 10 life experiences right here. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is just Dude, how can it get better than this? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Beautiful. On to the next glacier. Iceberg, not glacier. Oh my goodness. Almost there. So close. I've been paddling for like an hour straight. I'm freaking tired and I've got to Okay, we've been paddling for about 45 minutes. We have just about two miles across the entire lake, which is dangerous by the way, but it's been a workout. And so we're gonna hit the shore, eat some lunch next to a waterfall or breakfast basically, because it's like seven o'clock, 7.30 maybe. And then uh, maybe go to the glacier and we'll see. It's definitely a long way, so. Just have to test it out as we go and have fun along the way. I've got to pee like no other man. No joke. It's a uh, urgent. I drank a whole water bottle before coming out on the kayak just to get hydrated. I'm hydrated and it's ready to come out. Oh, so close. So freaking close. To being able to pee. I gotta pee. All right. Clear over there on the other side of the lake is where we started. Roughly two miles. And now, here we are. Beautiful. It's actually pretty empty of water, I think. Yeah. That's awesome. Is your lunch in here? Is your lunch in mine? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice you put it in here. Beautiful. And this is where you find some gold or something. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> Got a waterfall up here. Makes you wonder if anybody's been in this waterfall before. Or am I the first one? Pretty cool. Oh. Wow. That is 
something else. Whatever those tracks are, freaking big. Bigger than my hand. Right there. Right there. Right there. It's probably hard to see, but there's a big old track right there. I don't know what it is. Probably a moose. Ooh, end up here. Holy frick, that's a big old bear paw. Look at that. No way. Is that really a bear? You guys can see that on the camera, right? Like, oh my gosh. My hand doesn't even come close to that. Holy cow. I mean, look at that imprint. That is just <clears throat> massive. Holy moly. I mean, that's the freaking paw right there. Holy cow. Unreal. <laughs> Don't want to run into that guy at all. So yeah, we started way, way over, I think there actually. You can kind of see the icebergs in the distance. Maybe I'll zoom in the lens here when I'm editing, but way over there by those icebergs is where we started. We went five and a half miles to this spot right here on the beach. Hunter's over there fixing his kayak. One of the leg pegs came off, but no, no holes, which is good. And uh, the lake kind of comes back this way. There's a big point that comes out and then back around the corner is where the glacier's at. So I think we're gonna paddle our way up there and see, see what it looks like. If it's too far, we won't go, but I think we'll get to see the glacier at least from a distance at the at the very least but yeah this is <laughs> this is wild this is a place where not many people go we are like an hour drive from any town and the town is Yakutat so there's like 600 people which is only accessible by which is only accessible by plane and boat in the first place so this is like extremely extremely remote this is one of the most remote places you can go like Hunter was saying before he said, it's hard to find a place to kayak this remote. Like, pretty cool. <laughs> Not a lot of people go out here at all. Back on the road, or the road, water. <laughs> We're gonna paddle up that way towards the glacier. And this time along the shore instead of across open water, because I was scared. But it's gonna be nice to warm back up because it's chilly out. And get away from the bear tracks. <laughs> Glacier. Glacier.
gone ten and a half miles. Ten and a half miles, huh? Uh huh. Gee, that's what that means we have twenty one miles total. By the end of the day. Ten o'clock? I smell flames. Smells good actually. I haven't smelled a campfire in a long time. One that I have on there is annoying, by the way. Is it? Yep. It slide. It doesn't sit in one spot, so it'll slide and get down in the water and mess up the stroke, or it'll fall down in your hand. So I tried to like stretch it across that little knob, you know? Yeah. On to the next. I'm going to eat a piece of glacier ice. Isn't this bad for your teeth to bite ice? I am almost to a glacier. Me and Hunter. Hunter's way back there, but... That is a glacier. That is a glacier. But I'm only going to that one. Me and Hunter are going to go to that glacier. It's going to be sick. And I am sick of paddling. We went probably like... 15 miles of paddling by now and I'm tired but we're almost there and we can head back which is gonna be a struggle but we're getting there ah, we're getting there we're gonna see the glacier if we're lucky go on the glacier but probably not but at least see the glacier ah, so close so freaking close The glacier is just around that corner. Oh yeah, baby. Glacier. Glacier. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're going to paddle down right there. So cool.
Okay, we checked out the glacier from above. I flew the drone so I got to see it from above even better. And now, we switched kayaks and we're gonna go check out the glacier by kayak. Now I know you're not supposed to go next to glaciers in any sort of boat, especially not a kayak because they calve and uh, you know, big waves. <laughs> but uh, this one doesn't seem to be calving at all. As you can see, there's like barely any ice out here and any ice that is out there is from the other glacier it seems like. So we're gonna get close to the glacier a little bit and check it out because it seems so sick. I mean, how many people get to do that? Kayak next to a glacier? Tell you what, I'm gonna be doing it. I might die, but who cares? I, well, I care, but <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Oh, definitely a little more tippy in this one. is a freaking glacier right there. Look at those hunters. Did you go up to it? How was it? Well, it's a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that I guess 200 feet tall? Or it's more like 80 feet tall? Yeah. Yeah, she's not a big one. That's still freaking cool though. You ever kayak things to a glacier? This one's a lot more tippy, I noticed. Say what? Real? Yeah, I'll steer clear of that. <laughs> Yo, that is a glacier. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> I just hit the glacier. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's a big chunk of ice. That's sick. Now that's something you don't get to do every day. Sit next to a glacier, man. Holy cow. I'm gonna enjoy this for a while, and I'll see you later. Probably on an iceberg. again. I sure hope it is. <laughs> I hope. Dang, dude, this thing's crazy. <sighs> iceberg. That's crazy. Right 
Bye now. Driving the lazy river back. Bronson and I just skinny dipped in the. Here, let me let me pull up to you. I mean, that wasn't really skinny dipping. Skinny dipping, we would have taken. Oh my God, I'm going so fast. Well, you didn't pull it, so they don't know what it was. <laughs> okay, what was it? Let's it. Let's hear it. Ah, I'm gonna hit you. Beast. We skinny dipped in the iceberg water. <laughs> it was <laughs> cold. How cold was it? It was frigid, brutal. <laughs> we almost wimped out. To say the least. Oh. It is the next morning, and I survived. Me and Hunter both. Mm. So, we got back to the lodge around 8 o'clock at night after dropping off the kayaks. And I immediately went back to work until midnight. And the day before, I worked until midnight and then got up at 3.30. So, I was on like two hours of sleep, and then I worked until midnight again, and I was tired. So, I slept for 11 hours. <laughs> and it was absolutely wonderful so yeah we made it back we're safe we saw the glacier we walked on an iceberg kayaked 25 miles that was an awesome day so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of alaska and uh harley quinn lake and whatever the name of that glacier is but uh yeah it's gonna end the video so thanks for watching